that theologian or an expert on relationships. I'm just sharing what I've read. God is a generous God. Those who become parents see that you want to bless your children all the time, but because of their sin nature, sometimes you have to let them experience the consequences of their negative choices. But as the parents, you pull abundantly out of your cardboard what you have to give them as much as you possibly can to bless them. Some of us might feel that some don't really have a great relationship with God. We don't have the grounds to expect him to remove our shortcomings. We may still see ourselves in a negative light. We may wonder why in the world God would do this for us. It was God the Father's good plan to give his son Jesus to die on the cross for us so that we could become spiritual sons and daughters of God. When he, Jesus, sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, he'll be satisfied, and because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous, for he will bear their sins, Isaiah 53, 11. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him, that we would be reconnected back to God and become his sons and daughters, endured the cross, scorning at shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12, 2. The Apostle Paul said, For our spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. Romans 8, 16. Expect God to remove shortcomings because of all that Jesus went through to make us righteous. Upon receiving Christ, we become the children of God and heirs to many privileges. If we affirm as his spirit joins with our spirit, Perhaps we can shudder whether or not we've accepted God's forgiveness. See John 1.12. That is, we may intellectually receive God's salvation and judge on the cross, but we may not uh, feel forgiven or in our heart receive God's uh, forgiveness. Sometimes it can take a while for it to filter down from our head down into our heart and also what we've been through. We might need a Christian past, a Christian counselor, life coach, or pastor to help us in the process. We may have deep wounds from childhood and things that need to heal up for us to feel God's forgiveness. We may not feel like the children of God, especially after a fall or a stumble, but we can be sure that his promises are true. He offers new life and the removal of shortcomings to anyone who accepts his offer. The removal of our shortcomings is God's work alone. We only need to ask. Not that we don't have to do the footwork needed. Just like if we wanted a garden to grow, we'd have to do the footwork as we pray. Sometimes as Christians, we think that personal growth will pop into place without doing the constant uh, footsteps needed to grow. But God's there and he helps us.